Here's Matheson up for Ricard Raquel, and he'll skip that one in, and then a big hit. And Raquel is down. Lindgren's going to get called here. And they are calling for the trainer to come and have a look at Ricard Raquel, who's still down. And meanwhile, on the other side, Jake Gensel down in all fours as well. Crosby not happy, happy taking a few swings. Well, we heard Kevin Bieksa talking about Lindgren and how he is kind of like a Cronwall, where every he, all of a sudden he's quiet, and the next thing you know, he is coming at you, and he certainly caught Raquel. Ricard Raquel feeling the effects of that hit from Lindgren. Well, this is going to be a charging major if it holds to Lindgren. I don't think this is a charge. A uh, hit to the head, possibly, but in order to take enough steps for a charge, he'd have to be really moving. He's gliding sideways. He just stands up. But when he stands up, and it's hard to tell if his left elbow is what catches Raquel and all head. There's the dub pin. There's the shoulder. And it looks like the numbers on the side of his jersey, the 55. Might have got up and caught him. It might not have been an elbow at all but just the shoulder, and it's a roughing call, not a charge, as we've seen Gensel go down on the far side as well when Fox takes him down. But I tend to agree with this call. I, I, I know that it's hard for the Penguins to understand it, but to me, this is a defenseman doing his job, and his shoulder is tucked down. Everything is tucked in place. It's not a chicken bone. It's not up in the air. It's an unfortunate finish to the hit. And the Rangers will kill off and now, which is a two-minute roughing penalty. But that, that was no way that was a charge. It just wasn't there.